What is up you guys, it's Taylor with Consumology and today I'm here to review my absolute, oh, dang that was loud. <laughs> my absolute literal favorite product I think I've ever purchased in the history of people purchasing things. And I'm here to tell you why you might also want to do so. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so I've got the Breville Barista Touch. It is a 67 fluid ounce espresso machine and it is here to pack a punch for anybody who absolutely loves coffee, which I consider myself part of that niche. So if you go to Starbucks, Caribou, any other coffee shop on a regular basis and you're spending six, seven, eight, nine bucks a latte, this might be a worthy investment for you because that's exactly the way that I looked at it is I drink coffee every single day and I've had products like the Keurig, I've had normal coffee pots, I've tried Nespresso machines, all of these different things to give me coffee that was never really the same quality that I thought was, you know, as going to a coffee shop or Starbucks. And I also did not know what was exactly inside of those drinks, so I was probably consuming significantly more calories, significantly more processed things that I really just didn't know about. So by purchasing this product, I've not only been able to help reduce my spending <laughs> when I'm out and about, but I also can know completely and control the ingredients that I'm putting inside of the drink. So I laugh at that because I forego spending eight, nine dollars a latte to spend $1,100 on this machine. So this is purchased about a month ago on Amazon. It was like, I think it was $1,100 exactly. And it is a brushed stainless steel machine. There is a water tank on it, so you do not need to hook it up to a water line, which I absolutely love. Another great part about this machine is it literally just plugs in and you can run it immediately. So whatever drink that you want, this touch screen is what makes it different from the other Breville models. So if you're like, oh, I really wanna try to learn how to make a latte, you can click on the latte button and it'll show you exactly how much coffee to grind, how many uh, seconds it needs to brew for, what the temperature of the milk should be. I mean, it literally gives you all of the details so you can become your own barista, which is <laughs> what I have become. <laughs> okay, everything about this product is people friendly. And what I mean by people friendly, I mean normal people <laughs> that do not have experience in the coffee making world. So every single thing on this Breville Barista Touch has the instructions on how to do it. So if you don't know how to grind beans or what the grind size should be, everything is customizable so that you can learn exactly how to do it and how to make it right for yourself. So when we first got this machine, <laughs> I probably made like 20 plus shots in one Saturday because I was trying to dial it in, trying to figure out what grind size, how long to brew it for, all of these different things, right, with the shot size and blah, blah, blah. So I probably went a little overhand, a little over, I probably went a little overboard on that. And that's okay, right? That's part of the fun of trying new things. So uh, the cool part about that, like I said, is that everything's customizable. So if you're really a specific particular person and you like things done a certain way with a certain roast of beans with da 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 da, all these things, that's exactly what you're going to be able to do with this quality of a product. Another thing that I absolutely love about it is that it's ready to go. You literally plug it in and you can start making coffee immediately. You don't have to wait an astronomical amount of time. You don't have to sit at the drive-thru and wait. It, I can, I can make an iced latte ah, <laughs> in just a few minutes, which is phenomenal. So it is a lot of fun because I feel like I'm like a barista, right? That's like, I should wear a little cute apron that says my name on. <laughs> Uh, in other news, if you have not seen these videos before on Consumology, please consider subscribing to our channel. We are going to be reviewing all the things we use on a daily basis, including ridiculous machines such as this, <laughs> so that you can get our honest feedback on it and decide if you need to do it and buy it or not. Uh, yeah, it's just like, I don't know, this has been a really fun purchase and I have, I feel like I've perfected one specific drink and that is my iced latte. It's made with oat milk and then it's salted caramel flavored. So 
whew, it is super tasty. I've had, I've had a few friends and family members taste it and sample it, and I've had five out of five, just five stars. <laughs> So, um, that's the only one thing I can do really well on this machine so far, but it's because that's what I really love drinking. So it, uh, is not really a good indication of who I am as a person, as a barista, but it is a good indication for how delicious this machine can make your drink. Okay. Some of the cons that I have seen with this machine is that you do have to refill the bin, right? You have to fill, refill the water tank, which is no different if you've had a coffee pot or a Keurig, but it does add a little bit of work to the, uh, you know, work to the process. So not only do you have to refill it, but you have to descale it. And then you also have to empty out the water bin at the bottom, like the waste spot. And so that adds a little bit of maintenance on top of obviously owning this machine. But uh, I would prefer to, <laughs> I don't want to do anything. <laughs> okay. So Regardless of if you have a Keurig or a coffee pot or this espresso machine from Breville, you're gonna have to do a little bit of something. So just know that there's a couple extra steps that you'll have to take if you're used to doing things on a more simplistic espresso or a simplistic coffee maker or a Keurig. Another con that I see is in addition to that with the cleanup side of things, if you're using a Keurig, you literally have the little K-cup that you plop out and you throw in the garbage. With this, you have actual grinds that you have to get rid of. So every time you wanna make new espresso shots, either a double shot, single shot, whatever shot, you will have to clean out that little canister, that, that bin. And although it's not a huge deal, it obviously adds a little bit of time to your cleanup process. So this is just, I made a uh, drink earlier today. So this is my waste that I gotta throw away. I've seen it where people have it set up right next to their machine so you just dump it out and clank it on the sides of the thing and then it just throw it in the garbage right there so that might be an idea that i use in the future but for right now i empty it out completely in the garbage across the kitchen and i know what you're thinking you're thinking taylor <laughs> you're complaining about some real first world problems right now <laughs> and i could not agree with you more so these are not big deals I'm just saying that from my perspective, I'd rather have it be no maintenance. I don't want to have to think about it. it, it da da da, nothing. Okay, but anyway, so if you're used to already doing that with a Keurig or coffee pot or even an espresso, there's a little bit extra that you have to do, which in my opinion is, is completely and totally worth it. <laughs> okay, another thing, like I said, this has a touch screen on it and what this also allows you to do is create your very own programmable specialty drinks right on the touch screen. So if you know that you want this, this, and this, and that's exactly how you like it, that's exactly what you can do. You can program your own button. So then you turn it on, you click your certain specialty button, and then it does exactly what you want. So you don't have to readjust or retweak things every single time you wanna make something or try something a little different. You can click on the specialty button and have it be completely programmed for what you want every single time. Consistency, I love it. Um, another thing about this is that it is uh, about 13 inches deep. It's like 12.7 inches deep, so that's how far back it goes. Um, it's 15.5 inches wide, and it is 16 inches tall. So the height height is 16 inches, which I have it right here in our little bar area, and it fits kind of perfectly back there. Um, I wish that I had a taller space to put it under with the cupboards just because you do have to get that top section to put the beans in. And if I were to push it all the way back against the wall on this countertop, I would have to, <laughs> I'd have to pull it out and push it back in every time I wanted to refill those beans. So that's a personal preference, obviously for my own home, for my own kitchen, but for you, just so you're aware, those are the dimensions that you need to work within in order to physically make it fit in your home. With this machine, you also get the freshest possible beans made for you because you can grind them immediately when you're making your drink. So what that allows you to do is have a more rich and bold flavor when you are drinking coffee. If you've been to a Starbucks type of place before, you know that those beans are, are pretty fresh, but you don't know how long they've been actually ground up. And so that is what I love about this machine is that I can take the full beans put them in the top hopper and then I can watch them grind to have them be completely fresh and as fine as I want. So I love that it gives you a fresh, bold, rich flavor every single time. And like I say every single time, that is probably the biggest thing that I love about this is the actual consistency. I've been 
to coffee shops so, so much and I've ordered the same drink so many times and it comes out different every single time, not every single time, but it comes out differently frequently. And so what I love about this is that I get to choose what I want and it's going to come out the same every single time. So I'm gonna show some video of me opening up the product as well as showing you a few different things around the product so that you can kind of get a feel for what it is that you are looking at and potentially purchasing for yourself. Okay, so here we go. We are opening up the Breville Barista Touch. It is got some beautiful packaging, very well thought out. I thought it was cute. And at the very top here, this is the view that you will see when you open this up. And of course, we've got all the little packets of items that you're going to need for using this machine. I highly recommend getting a buddy to open the actual box because I struggled for a solid few minutes before I <laughs> actually got it out of the box. So, uh, but this is exactly what it looks like. Styrofoam, plastic wrapped, all of that fun stuff. And next I'm going to show you exactly what it is that's inside of the box. The first thing up here is a cleaning kit. This has got the different tools that you'll need to clean out the filters in the actual um, espresso machine. We've got the actual filter baskets that you're going to use interchangeably de depending on what size of shot that you're pouring. We have this razor, which is a little cleaning tool for the very top of any espresso shot that you pull. And then this cute little cup that you're gonna pour the actual espresso into uh, that pours, you know, obviously out of the machine. This is the water filter that you will use to make sure that you have the best, highest quality water going into your espresso shots. We've got a quick start guide that's going to give you a step-by-step -step instruction on everything you need to know. And then of course, this is the bean hopper. This bad boy holds half a pound of beans, um, whole beans at the very top of the machine. And of course, that is the actual grinder there that you see at the base. Um, this is the, I like to call it the espresso cup, but it's actually called the Porta filter. This is a 54 millimeter stainless steel. Uh, it literally is such high quality. I mean, it is heavy duty and it feels very, very, very sturdy to the touch. So absolutely love this. Um, and actually where my thumb is, you can see that is where the filter you change out depending on the pore size that you'd like. Um, we've got the tamper here next, which is the, you know, the, the device you use to actually press the espresso. Again, very high quality product that I have seen in this. Next, I'm going to, of course, take off all of the tape and different things like that. As you see down here below, um, underneath the steam wand, you have the uh, waste section. So this is where the overpour happens. Um, this is also where the wastewater goes when you are actually pressing the espresso. And that little uh, crate basically is there to help um, you know, protect that space and then also make sure that stuff goes down into it that needs to go down into it. So um, of course, we're touching things because <laughs> we want to know what it feels like and it feels great. So, um, and uh, of course I got to peel that off and give you a little ASMR <laughs> feel for that. Um, but yes, this is the brushed nickel. Absolutely love the look of this product. And of course you can see the steam wand there. That is very, very high quality. It's got all of the own temperature gauges. It self cleans. It is just an awesome feature of this product as well. So uh, on the left hand side, you can see the grind size. You can change that with that dial. And next I'm gonna make you some coffee. Okay, come with me now as I make my absolute favorite drink. This is a salted caramel iced oat milk latte and I weigh out my beans. It's about 18 grams worth of beans for a double shot. I pour it right into the hopper after that um, just to make sure that you get the absolute freshest beans possible. Um, and then for the grind size, I do right in the middle of fine and coarse. I've tried uh, all the different types, you know, in between the super fine and super coarse. And I've just found that this setting at, um, at nine is actually the best way that pours correctly. So if it's ground too finely and pressed too tight, then you won't get as much espresso pouring out. And um, if you do it too coarse, then there's too much water that gets through and it's not as bold of a flavor. So uh, what I did next is obviously I'm pressing the espresso and I'm adding into the espresso cup the pink Himalayan salt and then the salted caramel that I have, or just caramel actually, this flavoring is a sugar-free version of that. I do about two tablespoons worth of that. And the reason I do sugar-free is because it is zero calories and I think it tastes just as delicious as the regular. So 
Um, I put that in first just so that the espresso can pour over the top of it. And I just feel like it has a yummier flavor than if you did it afterwards. <laughs> this is not scientific evidence, by the way. Um, and now I get a half a cup of oat milk. I am going to whip it up a little bit and that is poured over the cup of ice as you see there on the left as well. And again, I do a half a cup of oat milk to two uh, shots of espresso. I found that that's a good balance. And so now I've got my oat milk poured and then I'm gonna just pour the hot espresso right over the ice and the oat milk. And then the last piece that I do is just a little bit of, you know, a little bit of pizzazz on there, which is a little bit more of the pink Himalayan sea salt. And then I also do a drizzle of like Sunday, Sunday syrup of that caramel at the top as well. Just adds a little bit more sweetness. And of course, all of these things are completely dependent on your personal, uh, your personal preference. So that's just what I have made <laughs> a lot of, and it is my absolute favorite drink. All right, with that, I appreciate you joining this video. <laughs> joining this video? <laughs> I appreciate you enjoying this video. And if you have made it to this spot in the video, please give me a like and a comment. And you know what, heck, even click subscribe, okay? It's it's free, and if you do do that, then you get to come on over and I'll make you a cup of coffee. <laughs> Maybe I spoke too soon, but come on over anytime and I'd be more than happy to make you a delicious drink on this Breville Barista Touch espresso machine. Thanks so much.